are your kids have a hard time cleaning your room? Yes. So if your answer is yes, <laughs> you need to pay attention to the segment. Today is National Clean Up Your Room Day, and it's not only intended to help kids pick up their toys, but it's an opportunity for all members of a household to Cliff organize. Included. Cliff included. <laughs> organize, declutter, and rearrange. This day is a perfect day to fix items that are broken, too. You can match up missing parts. You can rehome goods that you no longer use as well. That's right. And who better to talk to us about this topic than our friend and luxury organizer and home stylist, Venus Davis. Hey, you. Hi, friends. Hey, y'all. Hey, Good to see you. I'm <laughs> so glad to be back. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for coming because you're going to help us tremendously now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> National Clean Up Your Room Day. The clock is ticking. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so uh, when it comes to helping our uh, children and kids clean up their rooms, uh, are there any tips or tricks that parents can use? You know, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I have my little cue cards here to help me stay focused. But one of, of course, I feel like um, there is definitely a challenge for kids to keep their rooms clean. And I'm like, okay, I'm a mom, I have four kids, so if I'm encouraging them to keep their rooms clean, that means my room has got to be straight and clean, not perfect. Yeah. But I have to set the example, so I think that's the first thing. And then um, as far as our mindset, you know, we get, when we walk past our kids' room, we go in there, it's like, oh, I'm so sick of this room looking like this, you know? So we um, sometimes can be aggravated and annoyed, but what I found um, as a huge help is instead of being like a SWAT team coming in, right. is more to be like a support buddy. You oh, know, like okay. yes. right? Like and so that way we're going in and we're like, okay, let's manage the expectations. First thing is mm -hmm. set a time limit, okay? Yeah. If they're little, you know, maybe 30 minutes is all they're going to be able to do. If they're a teenager, we can rock this thing out all day. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Let's talk about uh, some specific items that you can use to help the kids uh, clean their rooms. Right. So I have a couple of things here. It's so important for them to know exactly what to do with their things. So I have like a little trash can. Mm -hmm. So you know when they're little, they, it's so hard for them to let go of stuff. They have like little pieces of paper and these little notes and all that stuff. So of course they need a trash can in their room. When the trash, and not a big one, right. okay? okay? I feel like the smaller the trash can is, um, the better because, but sometimes, I don't know, it's different for people with ADHD. They say do a bigger trash can, so it all depends. But if they're smaller, start with a smaller trash can. It gets full, okay, let's dump. It. Okay. This is something that I could use as a clothes hamper. You could too, or but they need a clothes hamper because when you go into their rooms to help them clean it, there's clothes on the floor. Mm -hmm. There's shoes everywhere. Yeah. Well, that's where they're supposed to be. Right. <laughs> And we, uh, and we don't want to be, and, like, shoving stuff under the bed. And right. I want to show how she folded the towel. It looks <laughs> so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I do roll them like that, even, for, I, even I in my closet. Yeah, as I love As beautiful that. as Thank that you. is, that will never happen in my house. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My husband, he rolls them like that. So oh, okay. There's know. always a chance. There's always a chance. It's it's always, it's a chance. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Thank you. So definitely yeah. having something that they can okay. put their dirty clothes in. And when we're going into the rooms, of course, to help them clean it up, we need to identify the deal with those clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, are they clean? Are they dirty? And then something I also noticed, like when we're in our own rooms, in our own closets and whatever. Sometimes we have clothes that this in our drawers that really could be hung up and mm -hmm. vice versa. Right. Yeah. So I think that's also good to identify, okay, where do we actually need to put these clothes? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and definitely making the bed every day helps to set the mind right. You know, right. like doing a morning run, having our cup of coffee. And if they're too small, then they can just pull the spread or the comforter up right. mm -hmm. and just put their pillow on top. And done. And yeah, it looks clean. Yeah. I still what about this, this pillow that you brought here? Right. And mm -hmm. so, thank you. So, having, and I think something that also helps young people or kids, teens keep their room clean is having ownership of the decor that's in there. So this is just like a pretty colorful pillow, but I brought it just to represent that it also helps to, helps us to really want to keep our surroundings nice and neat and clean when we have 
picked specific things that we like to see in there. Uh -huh. So it just kind of, you know, psychologically. Like, uh, we so so if your clean. kid wants to paint the room black, <laughs> you can let them do that. It's okay. <laughs> well, you know, you can. Yeah. <laughs> If it they works, just it need works. some lights. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> lights or maybe bring some white decor to balance it out. So yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It, exactly. We need light in our lives. We okay. need light. <laughs> and um, and can I just say a couple of more things? One? Of course, we yeah. got about 30 more seconds, but yes. Okay, thank you. So um, keeping a little checklist this is something that we did. It doesn't have to be major. Just like some small little things. Okay, make sure you pull your bed up. Make sure you, you know, your clothes are folded and things like that. Put your clothes in a hamper. And then the last thing is no shame if it's not perfect. Yes. Right. No shame. Just to cons and reward consistency and reward the efforts. Mm -hmm. I think that is really what helps children and even adults just keep the ball rolling forward is the consistency and the, and the praise and the reward. Great points, great, great points, points to keep. Yeah. Uh, let's go clean up your rooms yes. today, kids, yes. okay? <laughs> Adults too. Find the info right there, <laughs> calminghomebyvenus.com. Get all the information for that. Venus, always good to see you. It's a blessing Thank to you so here. much. Thank, Thank you so much.